Hello there, this is Mr. Adobe Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own YouTube intro. Right, let's get started now, shall we? Let's go to Composition, then New Composition. Then in your Composition settings, I recommend going on this scrolly downy thing and clicking on HDTV, 1080, and 20 frame, uh, 25 frames per second. Uh, this is a uh, PAL, or if you're in Europe, or anywhere along that sort of area. If you're in America you'd probably go for the 29.27 and if you want it to make it like a film then 24 frames. There's not really much difference though. So I'm going to go with my power one. Square pixels, 25 frames per second. Make it about uh, 5 seconds because you don't really want a title that's too long to your videos. Uh, let's make it 10 seconds just in case. Okay. So, set the background colors to be black, okay, and okay. Right, we've got a black rectangle on our screen. This is a good thing, because that means that we're one step closer to completing this challenge. Right, probably a good way to start is by, uh, is by putting some text in. And that's by selecting the text tool, clicking on the screen, and typing in your text. See? Typed in the word text. This could be your title. Um, not not saying that you should have the word text as your title, but anyway, uh, we can uh, click on this square, and you can see we can stretch it. And if we hold shift, it'll stretch it without changing its scale. Um, uh, we can you know, change the text settings, for example. This is from typing from the right. Uh, from the left and from the middle you know basic stuff that you do in word and all that sort of jazz okay so you can scale up here we can scale it up through the actual text pixels rather than the whole image itself so we've got our text that's one thing you can choose your font you know you can just click in the thing and you just click up and down with the arrow keys oh so many good texts you know, you can choose any of them if you want. Choose any that you want. Uh, use this one to change the width between the text and all this stuff. So you can experiment with these ex uh, with all these settings yourself. So I'm just going to leave it at that. If you've got two words, here's a little quick tip for you. Try and uh, incorporate both of the words together. For example, if we had, let's press Control D to duplicate the text. Um, if we had two texts here. We might try and go, it's just an example, so don't criticize me if it doesn't look any good. Uh, if we were to put it here, um, rotate it around, just holding shift to snap it, and then scale it down, we can sort of get things to look quite creative. You know, things like that. But, you know, that's just an example. Um, and uh, just try to be interesting with your titles. So, let's say we just got one word. Alright, time to do some animation. Uh, now I'd say the best place to start is by making making this uh, text layer 3D. And that's by clicking on the actual layer and then clicking on this little empty space here to make it 3D. If you can't see this, there should be yeah, this button down here, it shouldn't be highlighted and you just click on it and these options will appear and you can make it 3D like so. Okay, and you can see that it's got a Y axis, an X axis, and a Z axis. This is because it's in 3D space. If we were to move it along the Z axis, that means it'll only move along that way. If we were to move it along the Y axis, it means it'll only move along that way. And if we were to move it along the Z axis, yep, you guessed it, it means it'll only move along that way. Z axis is forward and back if you don't realize. Uh, X axis left and right, and Y axis up and down. Okay, now we've got in 3D, we've got our text. Uh, I'm going to show to animate. Uh, I'll be going over this quite quickly. Uh, I've got a whole video over on Monkey King 44 on how to animate your text. It's pretty basic, so we just click on the text, press P to open up the position, and we'll click on the stopwatch. We'll go forwards a few frames, just using the page up and page down buttons. One, two, three, four, five. Five or six should do for if you want it to be nice and speedy. Set a keyframe there. Move back to our previous keyframe. We'll move it over here. So now it sort of swoops in really fast and doesn't look good at all. 
but we can make this look a little bit more organic by just zooming in that's by pressing the plus and minus buttons now we're going to select our last keyframe and well I can't press F9 but you can press F9 I'll just pause the video uh, so we can just press easy ease there we go keyframe assist easy ease so that means it will easy ease in and it will sort of come to a slow stop uh, make this look even more organic with a motion blur then turn on for the comp let me get a nice motion blur motion blur always makes things look good just remember that okay that's important so we've got the text great look at that perfect okay let's get a little bit more creative now yeah let's go to another level okay so we want this text to stay here for about one or two seconds maybe one and a half okay that's one roughly and about two about that and now we can edit the rotation so if we hold shift and then press R then that brings up the rotation as well as the position now on orientation we're gonna click on the stopwatch for that as I said press F9 for you guys but for me I'll do that okay now I'm gonna go forward six frames one two three four five six okay and now we're just gonna rotate by, uh, click on this little key here, I'm pressing W and we can rotate that down, if we hold shift we can just snap it there <coughs> and that will sort of swoop down nice and simple and the last frame we see it is there so if we hold alt and then end bracket that's the last time we'll see it and it will go okay. so it ends where it ends text so, you know, there's just little sort of things just to make your videos look a little bit more sort of original rather than doing things like uh, Windows Movie Maker titles. Well, of course, these are just the basics. I know uh, you can do a lot more with it, for example, particle systems and all this stuff. And uh, you can use sort of stock footage for explosions and that. But I highly recommend going over to... Um, uh, going over to uh, videocopart.net because on their site, I'm sure if you haven't heard of it yet, I highly recommend it. I recommend going to tutorials and basic training. This is videocopart.net slash basic. And then you can go check out the uh, titles 1 and 2 bit. And it will show you how to make uh, your own sort of title. There we go. And uh, you know, it's very useful for when you're getting started. I um, this is how I started in After Effects is by watching these basic tutorials. I actually watched them before I even got the program. Then I got the program and uh, well, hey, I could just do all this stuff, which is great. Um, so yeah, highly recommend it. Check it out uh, if you don't get enough information in this video, but you should. So <laughs> only go over there if you want to. Just point that out because it's very useful. Okay, so we've got our text that goes down and it just swoops down. Now if you want to have another title we can then animate that in as well by adding a new text. So text. Ta-da! Wow. Okay. So let's make this 3D again. Get to the middle. To the max. Right. Um it's just you know it's just about playing around with things, seeing what you like. Okay, that's what's important. It's, it's, it's all your choice. <coughs> so we can set its position. So remember, press P for position. Just click on the stopwatch. And if we go to our next keyframe of our previous text layer's rotation, then we can bring it down. And then if we press F9. Let me get another interesting change. As I said, you know, motion blur in there. Let's drag that below. So we just take all this keyframe stuff away. And there you have it, basic titles, you know. Avast virus database has been updated. Thanks, Avast. Anyway, so yeah, uh, play around with them, see what you can do. And uh, get used to it. Okay, that's that's the first step in uh, making your own titles. Just getting used to it, playing around, 
you know, add in some new color, like uh, layer new solid. Doesn't really matter what color it is. Let's go move that to the bottom. Effect generate ramp. And if we set this to a radial ramp and set it sort of coming from the bottom and move this bit up. You now you can do so much stuff, okay? Just experiment, see what you like, and use it. And that's what's there for you know. I also recommend some of the video copilot uh, um, plugins which they've got. Just check them out, they've got plugins on there. Okay, so if we've selected both of our text layers, that's by holding control and clicking on both, and we go layer, pre compose. This is going to be using one of Video Copilot's uh, effects. So go check them out, go on the presets and that. I'll put a link in the description for this preset. Uh, go on effect, Video Copilot. Video Copilot Reflect. Now if we just move forwards to where we can see the text, we're going to drag this little point here to where the word starts. Okay. Yeah, let's zoom in a bit more there. There we go. And now what we can do is you can use Fall Off. This is basically just makes it reflect and you can sort of uh, you know, make it look more realistic as a reflector rather than just sort of bringing it down. Anyway, <coughs> you know, as I said, experiment with some effects, have some fun, enjoy yourself. This is Mr. W Tutorials, signing out.